there are different methods of separation such as hand picking tracing winnowing and sieving let us discuss one by one first hand picking when we buy rice wheat pulses etc from market it contains some impurities like small stones or unwanted grains so what we do we generally separate the unwanted thing like small stone or unwanted grains with the help of our hand so this method is known as hand picking as we use our hand to separate the impurities or unwanted particles so when this method we generally use when first is when the quantity of the mixture is small that means when the amount of rice is in small amount we cannot use the method when the amount of rice is in a large quantity next is when the unwanted substance is present in smaller quantity that means the amount of impurities like stone or unwanted grain is present in small quantity and the size shape or color of the unwanted past substance is different from the useful one and next is when the size shape and color of stone or unwanted grain is completely different from rice wheat or pulses so we can define hand picking as follows the simple process of separating slightly bigger sized harmful substances or other useful substances or impurities like small pieces of stones husk and dirt from grains of wheat pulses and rice is called hand picking next is tracing after the crop is harvested stalks are left with so many grains and these are dry under the sun a single stalk has some 100 pieces of grains joined to it so it is impossible to pluck each grain seed with the help of our hand that means we cannot use hand picking method to separate the grain from the stalk that's why we use a different method to separate the grain seed and the name of the method is tracing so what tracing is tracing can be defined as the process of separating the grain seeds from stalk by either with the help of machines bullocks or sometimes by beating them so how tracing is done the tracing is done manually with the help of the hand or with the help of the machine when it is done manually they generally hold the pile of crops and beat it on a rock or any hard surface here you can see they make a pile of crop and beating on a hard surface when they do this the grains get loosen out and it gets separated from the stalk and sometime the tracing is done by crushing the harvesting stalks using bullocks also next is winnowing even when tracing is done husk or chaff is still attached to the grain seed and since the size of the two is quite similar we cannot use hand picking or tracing to separate this from the grain so in this case we will use different method that is winnowing so winnowing can be defined as the method of separating lighter husk particles and heavier grain seeds components by blowing a current of air through them so here what happened the person seat stand on a wooden stool and he take the grains along with the impurities and when the air blow as the husk are light so the air will carry the husk and it will settle down in this position and as the grain is heavy all the grain will fall in this position so this is how they generally separate the grain and the husk with the help of wind so this that's why the name comes winnowing 
Next is sieving. If the component of a mixture are of different sizes, they can be separated by sieving. The smaller component pass through the pores. This is the sieve. It pass through the pores of the sieve. Whereas the larger component like stones or husk left behind in the sieve. Also this method is used in home to separate with brain from flour. However, uh, sieving with flour is not advisable as wheat bran which is removed during sieving is very rich in nutrients and is also a rich better to remove visible impurities by hand picking. Now the process of sieving is also used to separate pebbles and stones from sand at the construction sites. What happened? The pebble and stones present in the mixture remain in the sieve and as the sand is fine so it will pass through the holes of the sieve. We will show the method sieving. So here you can see through the hole the small particle pass out and the larger particle will remain inside the sieve. Thank you.